The COVID-19 pandemic has been challenging for all of us. The number of people who have contracted the virus in British Columbia, across Canada, and around the world continues to climb. While measures such as self-isolation and physical distancing are now part of everyday language, these measures on their own have not been enough to end the pandemic. It looks like we have some distance to go before our lives return to normal and BC Ferries can return to providing coastal communities the service they depend on. In my position as CEO, I'm playing a role unfamiliar to me. Rather than encouraging British Columbians and visitors to use our services, I'm asking them to avoid all non-essential travel and to please stay home. I know island and coastal communities appreciate these efforts and would like us to go even further if we could. To deny service altogether for people who do not live in those communities or who are not essential to their support. But right now, we don't have any order or law that enables us to do this. It's for governments to make that decision. I hope you are doing the best you can to manage through this pandemic. I know I speak for all of us at BC Ferries when I say that our hearts go out to the people in hospital, their families, and to the amazing healthcare professionals supporting their recovery. While BC Ferries has always been an essential service, we know that now more than ever you are depending on us. We understand we are a lifeline to island and coastal communities. I could not be prouder of the way our employees have risen to the occasion and are showing up and making a real difference. They've made the work of getting people and goods to where they need to go a priority over and above their own concerns about COVID-19. Two weeks ago, I shared the news that an 80% drop in ferry traffic would result in significant service cuts and temporary layoffs for more than 1,000 BC Ferries workers. That was not an easy decision to make. At the time, we had looked at all options available to us, including federal and provincial government programs. At the time of our layoff notices, details of business support programs from the federal government were unavailable or unclear. Since then, we've engaged with governments and received new information that BC Ferries may be eligible for a wage subsidy through the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy Program. The process to determine our eligibility has been a long one. And while we were initially hopeful of a successful outcome, we won't know for some time if the federal government will treat BC Ferries as it has other transportation providers, such as WestJet and Air Canada. To remove uncertainty for our employees, BC Ferries has decided to rescind the layoff notices provided to regular employees. And if it turns out that the company is not eligible for the wage subsidy, BC Ferries will cover these costs on our own for as long as we can. This will affect about 400 of our regular employees. We feel this is the right thing to do for our people, and it's also in the best interest of the communities we serve. These are experienced mariners and hard to replace. Their return helps us be ready to assist in BC's recovery for when the time comes. We won't have enough work to keep all these employees busy right away, and they may not be able to resume their regular duties and schedule. We are committed to paying these employees 75% of their base salary on days without work and 100% on the days they do work. Bringing back these regular employees into the company means they will maintain benefits and stay connected to us we will be able to restore service quickly when given the green light to do so. For the time being, our casual employees will remain on layoff. This is because there isn't enough work for them right now. We continue to pay their extended health care benefits for those casuals who are enrolled. In addition to cuts and temporary service layoffs, we will also need to defer capital projects and spending. The financial picture will be difficult for us for a while. We need to put on hold any spending that is not necessary to maintaining the safety and reliability of our service. I don't know how long it will take to resume full service for our customers and to bring back all of our employees. We are operating in uncertain and unprecedented times, and it's difficult to plan and predict the future. For the moment, the adjustments we have made are in place for 60 days, and following that, we will work closely with the province on a month-by-month -month basis as the situation evolves. I am working as hard as I can to secure our financial and operational future so that we can get back to normal as soon as possible. Our commitment to British Columbia is to do our part to support the economic recovery of our province. My commitment is to bring back 
all of our dedicated employees as soon as we can. If you do need to travel, I want to remind you of the many measures that we have put in place to keep you healthy and safe. These measures are working and please follow them. Please remain in your vehicles and for walk-on passengers, please adhere to physical distancing guidelines. Thank you for listening. Please take care of yourself and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon.